Good morning, bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. J'ai le grand pl plaisir d'être ici aujourd'hui avec les ministres Ambrose et Clement et le secrétaire parlementaire Warwa afin d'annoncer une autre initiative majeure de notre nouveau gouvernement visant à protéger et améliorer notre environnement. And good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to be here today with Ministers Ambrose and Clement and Parliamentary Secretary Warwa to announce another initiative by Canada's new government to protect and improve our environment. Before I begin, I'd also like to acknowledge some other very important people who are with us uh, here today. And I just ask as I introduce them, maybe a wave or identify yourself. Uh, Stephen Samus, Chair of the Chronic Disease Prevention Alliance of Canada. Ken Kyle, Public Services Director with the Canadian Cancer Society. And Dr. John Service, Chair of the Canadian Alliance on Mental Illness and Mental Health. They all have a major stake in the new initiative that we're announcing today. Finally, I'd like to thank Dr. Virginia Solaris, who just gave me a tour of the toxics-free model home for people who suffer from acute chemical sensitivity. Today's announcement will be of particular interest to them. Quand nous avons pris le pouvoir, nous avons promis de remplacer les belles paroles par des mesures concrètes, des mesures pratiques, réalistes, qui produisent des résultats, parce que ce sont des résultats qui comptent. When we took office, we promised to replace environmental talk with environmental action, action that is practical, realistic, and actually delivers results, because results are what matter. That's why we move quickly to boost public transit in our first budget, why we set new benchmarks for the use of renewable fuels, why we crack down on the release of mercury into the environment, and why we set out targets for reducing air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions for the first time ever in Canada in our Clean Air Act. All of these initiatives reflect our commitment to a healthier environment for all Canadians. And today we're unveiling the next major element of our environmental agenda, Canada's new chemicals management plan. Le nouveau plan de gestion des produits chimiques du Canada que j'annonce aujourd'hui prévoit des mesures réalistes et exécutoires qui amélioreront considérablement la protection des Canadiennes et des Canadiens contre les produits chimiques dangereux. En fait, il fera du Canada un chef de file mondial à la mise à l'essai et de la réglementation de produits chimiques utilisés dans des milliers de produits industriels et de consommation. The plan includes realistic and enforceable measures that will substantially increase protection of Canadians from dangerous chemicals. In fact, it will make Canada a world leader in the testing and regulation of chemicals that are used in thousands of industrial and consumer products. Now, chemicals, of course, are a part of the natural environment. They're in the foods we eat, the fluids we drink, and the air we breathe. Most are benign. In the right volumes and combinations, they are the building blocks of society itself. In the hands of our scientists, engineers, and industrialists, chemicals are manipulated to improve the quality of our lives, to increase food production, to cure illness, and to bring us many of the comforts and conveniences of modern life. But some chemicals are inherently dangerous and can remain so for a long time. They must be carefully managed and regulated. Voilà de quoi, voilà de quoi traite notre plan de gestion des produits chimiques. Au cours des quatre prochaines années, nous allons renforcer la réglementation et accélérer l'évaluation des risques pour des milliers de produits chimiques. Notre plan nécessitera un investissement de fonds publics considérable, mais à long terme, il permettra de faire des économies en réduisant les dépenses pour la santé publique et la restauration des sols et de l'eau contaminée. Over the next four years, we'll tighten regulations and accelerate risk assessment for thousands of chemicals. Our plan will require a substantial investment of public funds, but in the long run it will save money by reducing expenditures on public health and the cleanup of contaminated land and water. Well, Canada has always been responsible when it comes to chemicals management. I'm proud to say that we will become a world leader because of today's announcement. Although since 1994, new chemical substances or, produced or imported into our country 
have been subject to rigorous assessment by federal government scientists. Some 23,000 legacy chemicals have not undergone the assessment required of new substances. All developed countries face the same challenge, and all have committed to safely manage chemicals by 2020. Le Canada est devenu le premier pays du monde à catégoriser entièrement les produits chimiques existants. Nous dépassons l'Amérique et l'Europe, et notre nouveau gouvernement est déterminé à maintenir notre pays au premier plan de la protection de la santé et de l'environnement. Canada has now become the first country in the world to achieve full categorization of our legacy chemicals. We're ahead of America and Europe, and Canada's new government is committed to keeping our nation at the forefront of health and environmental protection. Our chemicals management plan is the next step in the process. Now, Ministers Ambrose and Clement have worked very hard on this plan, so I'm going to ask them to fill you in on some of the, de of the details.